What's good, y'all? Today I'm going to show you an easy way how to play Dust in a Baggie by Billy Strings. The chords you're going to need is a G, C with your pinky on the third fret of the sixth string, and a D. Alright, I'm doing this with, well I'm using a thumb pick, but you don't have to use a thumb pick if you don't want. It is easier with a thumb pick, I'm being honest with you. But um, So let me just do it in time for you and then I'll show you how to do it. It's really only two sections. But it's a really cool song that I'm sure y'all probably want to know how to play. <clears throat> Alright, here we go. Starts on the G. it all the way up until after your first chorus um, and then really just gonna repeat what I just did so um so first let me show you how to do this so you're gonna start on the G and you're just gonna go six up four up all right my thumb is getting the bass notes and my I'm strumming my up strum with my first finger I'm trying to keep my pinky and ring finger somewhere on my guitar close to my bridge um, just kind of like as a like a home button uh, anyway just somewhere to keep my i can't believe i just said that but um just somewhere to keep my you know my position um so that's your g six up four up all right your c is five up six up your d is four up five up all right so um so your first section is this let me just I'm going to show you the um, strumming pattern, and then I'll do it all together. So it starts like this. G for two. C for one. Back to G. Back, um, D for two. G for two. C. G. D. Alright, so that was your first chorus. So all the all the I mean verse. All the way through. G C G D G C G D G. It's kinda hard to say the chorus because it's so fast, but um, if y'all have any if I lost y'all or something, let me know in the comments. But that's your first section right there. I'll do it one more time before I stop my video. Um, but your chorus starts on a C. Alright, so anyway, your chorus is C, G, D, G, C, G, D, G. Alright, so that's your end of the chorus. And then right here, it's going to be like, a, a, I think, a guitar solo. But all you're going to do, you're just going to go back to your first section. G, C, G. D, G, C, G, D, G. It's kind of hard to call out the chords and play when it's this fast, but um, but that's all you need to know. You really know how to play the whole thing now. So now that I've showed you how to strum it and all that, let me do it for you in time, and that'll be it. All right, so here we go. I'm going to play all the way up until after your first chorus. Well, no, I'm not. I'm gonna split it in half. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna play your um, first and second section, um, 
independently of each other because um, I did a lesson last week. I forget you. Oh, it was a Tyler Childers song that y'all didn't even get to see because I didn't even play any of the song with it and it still got copyrighted. I think it's because I played too much of the song without stopping or something. I don't know. But, um, so let me just play your first section for you. So here's your first section. Verse. G. C. G. D. G. C. G. D. G. All right, now I stopped it. Now here's your chorus right here. Starts on the C. All right, here we go. Chorus C. G. D. G. C. G. D. G. All right. And then right here, you're just going to play the same progression as your verses. Then you're going to go into another verse. And then, I mean, you know how to play the whole song now. But if y'all have any questions, let me go. My dog's doing something weird, so I'm going to have to get off of here. But I hope y'all doing good. And until next time, go on.